How you doing? This is uh, this video is for people who haven't bought an e-cig yet or anything. This is for people. This is e-cig 101 right here. Okay. So the parts. There's different model numbers. There's 510, 901, 801, 401, KR 808. You know, they, they all have the basic same idea. Uh, they're all made in China. They're all you know consist of basically three things: um, an energy source of a, a battery. An, a heating coil called an atomizer or an addy and a cartridge or a mouthpiece um, now what they do independently is vaporize nicotine liquid now this comes in two different forms uh, it's mainly water flavoring and either an ingredient called PG or an ingredient called VG is what you'll see on uh, you know websites and stuff PG stands for propylene glycol which is uh, it's a food grade um, liquid I, I really don't know why they put it in things um, but it's I know it's an organic molecule that you know hasn't been linked to any sort of cancer or genetic defects or anything like that and it's in almost everything I mean you come into contact with this on a daily basis it's in hand lotions and food and uh, it's in fog machines so you inhale it there and and they've determined that's fine um, it's in antifreeze um, but it's not like the poisonous part of antifreeze it's just in the antifreeze it stops water from freezing it gets in between the water molecules and stops them from forming ice to a certain temperature um, and the other thing is VG, which is vegetable glycerin, which is uh, a sh it's an organic molecule, but it's a, a sugar based. Uh, it's a carbohydrate, and it's I think it's a byproduct of uh, uh, vegetable oil manufacturing. But anyway, I prefer VG. Uh, PG just scratches my throat and it dries me out, and I, I don't really like the side effects of it. And the taste kind of tastes like fog juice from a fog machine so I prefer VG but a lot of other people like PG or don't have a problem with it so you know give both a try and see what you like this model I prefer a 510 model and that's what this is and like I said they all do basically the same thing so you screw them together you take the fluid <clears throat> now you can either load it into the cart or the cartridge Or you can drip it directly onto the atomizer, like so. And you just put one or two drops. Okay? And then this battery is a manual battery, so there's a button you hit. You can also get an automatic battery, which will activate the atomizer when you inhale. I prefer the manual. They just, they're less fail-proof. There's less to go wrong. I just, I like that. Now, when you inhale an e-cig, you want to draw it into your mouth and then into your lungs. You don't want a straight uh, draw like a cigarette. Um, it hurts your throat, you don't get the flavor, and it, it's, I mean, some people do, I'm sure, but I don't think that's the right way to do it. Um, I also, I kind of chief on it at first to get the atomizer warmed up and get a bunch of vapor in there, and then I get a bigger hit, so like this. And there you go. Um, now, there's other devices you might have heard of. One is called a pass-through. And what this is, is basically a battery that you don't have to recharge because there's a cable coming out of it that plugs into your USB port. And then this just supplies a steady stream of power at a certain voltage to your atomizer. And the atomizer just comes off and screws right on there. These are optional, but you can get them. Another thing that I think is actually, it's optional, but I think it's a necessity, is a PCC, or personal charging case. What this does is there's a little battery in there that you charge up with a USB cable, and then when you're leaving to go to work or whatever, you take your battery from your e-cig, which you normally can charge in your USB port. There's a little adapter that you can get that plugs into USB and the screws into it. This is a much better way to go, though, I think, because it's more portable. There's a slot in here that the battery goes in, and when you put it in there, it charges it on the go. 
you can also store your atomizer in there. So this is compact. You grab this just like a pack of smokes, put it in there. You grab your juice just like a lighter, put it in your pocket, you're good to go. This is the way to go, I think. Another thing that people talk about are called mods. And what these are, are basically the same idea, but they're manufactured to provide either more voltage or a longer battery life. Uh, this particular model uses batteries like this, which will last basically all day without having to be recharged. And then they fit in an aluminum tube or some sort of device that, that holds the battery and makes a connection to, the, to an atomizer. This is a different type of atomizer. This is an 801 style atomizer. And it has a mouthpiece much like a, a cigarillo or something. And, and these work the same way. There's a button on the bottom. And, and you know, they work the same way. Um, these are more for experienced vapors. Um, I, you know, I would start with this, and if, if you want to try a mod, I would try a mod. But I would start with just a regular e -cig. So that's, that's uh, basically it. Um, yeah, terminology-wise, it's called vaping. It's not called e-cigging or e-smoking. Like, I, you know, people call themselves vapors because this is also called a PV or a personal vaporizer, all this stuff, because you're vaporizing the nicotine liquid and inhaling it. Um, and... That's, I mean, that's about it. You know, it's a pretty simple thing with an initial investment of, you know, maybe this whole setup, you know, with the e-cig the e and, and the case will cost you 50 bucks. The juice will cost you, you know, 10 bucks. Um, and that's, this is the only thing you have to, have to buy again after that. Or an atomizer if it goes bad. Because um, they, they burn out. Um, it, you know, but you want to buy more juice because there's tons of flavors you want to try and everything. So once, once you make that initial investment, it's much cheaper than actually smoking it. And uh, I prefer this much better. Um, the nicotine buzz is more like a caffeine buzz. And it's not like with a regular cigarette, like you get all worn down. Like this is energizing it, and, it, and it's a great thing. Um, and I also, I vape liquids that don't have nicotine in them. Um, you don't get the throat hit or the feeling in your throat of the nicotine like kind of tingling and and feeling like you're smoking and it's the satisfying part but you get all the flavor with the non-nicotine juices so give those a try too and see if you like them um but yeah if uh if you have any other questions or i didn't answer anything um i got a lot of emails about doing something like this and i don't know if i answered everybody's questions but uh if there aren't any other questions or i need to do a part two of this video um send me an email at allaboutthevapor at gmail.com and I'll get back to you or make another video or whatever. Uh, and subscribe to my YouTube and, and uh, just watch all my videos. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. Bye.